G.I. Joe villains have taken over the world. What's anyone to do? Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and tonight we get a sneak preview into Cobra Cry Superstar. Inspired this idea. Any villains of like 80s cartoons, were, they're always funny to me because they're always so petty. They're always so petty towards one another and they never got along. We started to really think about like how how these villains would interact if they were real people with that level of pettiness. I mean they're terrorists, right? But they're squabbling over who gets to play the lead in a play. Cobra are the villains from G.I. Joe, the 80s cartoon. They've conquered the world and the populace is becoming unruly. So they need a way to control the world and they think the best way they can do it by the simplest method is religion. There is only one thing that has brought nations together, helped end wars, and has never caused any sort of turmoil. Is it puppies? Kittens? No! It's religion! Dealing with religion has raised some controversy. How do you deal with that? If you're gonna say something about religion, you can use something ridiculous, like the G.I. Joe villains, to kind of get your point across. You know, you gotta take it with a grain of salt, right? It's a play, it's supposed to be fun. I mean, it has some serious messages in it. There's a lot of stuff that's very subtle, and you have to think about it for a second or two, right? Because you're laughing so much at it, and you see these, this nonsense, but there are certain lines in there that uh, makes you think for a second. You can't take yourself or life too seriously. Everything is good in moderation, right? Some people take it to that next extreme. Those are the people who probably don't want to see the show. 